Hey guys, what's up? This is Adam for FXC39.com, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to speed up your computer. This is a problem that a lot of us have, including me, um, in that your computer will take like five hours to start up, and then, you know, five more hours to eventually get an application open. open. It won't run uh, videos well, uh, etc. And this is a uh, problem that can be fixed um, if your computer is an older computer you might want to look into getting a new one but there are ways to speed it up uh, substantially um, which I will show you so as you can see I know I have a lot of my hard drive I, I am working on switching that over to this terabyte that I have but um, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, defragment your hard drive so if you right click and you go to tools and you hit defragmentation um, as you can see, mine is fine, but you're going to want to select yours and however, however much it's fragmented. And uh, fragmentation basically means that um, files that the computer needs to compile certain things or run certain things or spread out across the operating system or across your uh, hard drive. And that makes it have to go search for each of those files and collect them from different locations. Whereas if they were all in the same location, it could open them very easily. And uh, maybe that's not like the best way to say it or whatever, but I guess it makes sense. Um, so if you defragment it, it'll make it optimized and run faster. Then if we switch back over to the general tab, you're also going to want to do a disk cleanup. Many of you guys may have seen this before. Um, it takes forever, but uh, it's worth it. It'll clean up all the stuff that you really don't want uh, on your hard drive. It'll calculate it, and then you're going to want to just select all of these and uh, hit clean up system files may take a little bit longer to search for you um, so yeah and then there's also some software that can uh, speed up your computer which I'm going to show you um, one of them okay um, one of them is this great program that I love it's called uh, win directory stats um, and you can download it from this site I'll put it in the description and you'll just download the program and run it and then once it's installed you just want to select the drive that you want and then hit OK. And it's going to start scanning the drives to and the folders in that drive to see how big they are and what's taking up. And what this is going to do is help you free up space on your hard drive that you're using. Um, oftentimes, programs, the, the computer just runs better if you have more space. And it's you know a well known fact that it will run better if you have more space on your hard drive. Um, just for numerous reasons. Um, so I'll just close this for now because I've already run one. This is what it's going to show. And basically it's going to map up your hard drive. As you can see, I have a lot of games and stuff on this, this specific computer. So we've got uh, movies over here. And then it basically it uh, shows what the file types are uh, by color code. So down here we have some uh, AVI files that are in the recycle bin. And this is also like a stereotypical uh, thing that people uh, thing, I guess. Um, when you put stuff in the recycle bin, it doesn't just get rid of them, and they stay there, and they're they're compressed essentially, but they're not gone. And you need to empty your recycle bin. So let's go ahead and, and explore here. And it will bring up the recycle bin. <clears throat> so make sure you, you're recycling your uh, stuff that's in here. See, all this stuff that's in here is taking up space. So we'll just hit empty the recycle bin, and yes. And then there we go. So that's all that. Um, that'll help you. You can find stuff that may. Uh, the bigger it is, the more space it's taking up, obviously. So yeah, the smaller files you won't really need to worry about. But that helps you give a great um, overview of how things are looking on your hard drive. So let's go ahead and close that. Or you can just crash. It's fine. I was going to close your anyways. Next program is called CCleaner. Uh, you can download it from this site. Uh, it's a great program. I've used it before many, 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 many times. And uh, basically, it just clean uh, this first part just cleans up basically your uh, Windows and your application stuff. So if we analyze it, um, we can see you know how much we're going to be able to clean up by uh, doing that. And then we could just uh, once it's done, run cleaner. And that'll start cleaning up your stuff on your computer. Um, so, yeah. Oh, that may take a while. Okay. So there we go. It removed 21 mega, two, 212 megabytes, um, and that's of uh, space on your computer. And then that'll help your programs run better. 
Um, we can do the same thing for our windows, but I'll leave that for later. Um, registry cleaners, this will just uh, define if there are any issues, um, and then you can uh, fix those issues. So that um, basically, if, if there's issues, if there's like, um, well, this is a good example. Um, if there's shortcuts, say you installed a program, and then you, uh, and then you uh, went into your C drive program files and then deleted the folder for that file, um, that shortcut would become unused, and that uh, slows down Winter, uh, Windows Explorer very much um, because it has to go look and like, why isn't this here? You know, stuff. Um, so uh, make sure you've you've got like. Uh, if there's missing stuff, you install it or get rid of the uh, shortcuts. So, yeah, that doesn't really have to do with shortcuts, but you know, here it can uh, you can uns uninstall programs, and this is also really cool. Your startup, uh, as you can see, I don't have very many uh, programs that run on my startup at all, but you guys may. Um, this helps you manage all your system restore points. I should probably make some, um, but yeah. So you wouldn't want to do this because that's wiping your drive but um, also installing uh, reinstalling your uh, operating system does speed it up a lot I don't know if you guys know that it's a pain it's a hassle but you know sometimes it's just gotta be done so um, if you're gonna jinx yourself or not jinx yourself but you know do completely the opposite of what this program is trying to do you can run that but at startup and slow yourself down even more but um yeah, this is a pretty cool uh, program to use. All of these are all of these tools, and you definitely want to check it out if you need to speed up your computer. All right, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, and uh, peace.